Hello, I'm Rod Elmore, and uh, we're going to take a look at a special probability problem. It's discrete probability, and we're going to use the binomial probability formula, because this is a binomial problem. And the binomial, the review, has just two choices, yes or no, uh, this outcome or that outcome. Throwing a coin would be an example. And we're going to revisit a problem we've already done, because I like to revisit it, because to see if this gets the same thing. So the problem we're going to deal with is one we de dealt with already. Is that one of the couple plans on having three children? And once again, the probability of getting a boy and a girl is exactly the same, and assume, and assume there's no twins or triplets. Now what we want to know is what's the probability of getting exactly two boys? We did this with a tree diagram, and now we're going to do it where we could actually see the number, although we didn't call it probability then. Now we're going to find out the probability of getting uh, two boys in this type of a situation. Now if we actually reviewed our tree diagram, we could remember that we had three out of the eight outcomes. So that's what we're going to use, but this formula is a little intimidating, so we want to look at it and see what, how we're going to use it. Well, whenever you're going to deal with a formula, you have to just know all the terms. The x, the n's, and the p's and the q's. Well, I have the x and the p's and the q's over here, and the n is the number of trials. n is the number of trials. So we've got everything defined, so we should be able to take our situation where the couple's going to have three children, and we want to know what the probability of getting exactly two. And we already know the answer is 3 eighths, but how are we going to use this? So let's see, we want to have, we know the total number of trials. What's our n in this case? Our n would be 3. What's our x going to be? Number of successes. And so having a boy is going to be defined as success, and having a girl not success. So the, the number of boys we want is 2. Now what's our P and our Q? P is the probability of success. Well, what's the probability during each event that it's going to be a boy? That would be one half. And what's the probability of failure? One half. So now we just plug those numbers in, and we'll see if we get our three eighths. So the probability of getting two boys, now we replaced our X with what we want is n factorial, and n is, in this case, 3, 3 factorial, all over n, which is 3 minus our 2 factorial and our 2 factorial. So then our p is 1 half, our x is uh, 2 again, and our q is 1 half. These are not always the same, of course. And now this is 3 minus 2 or 1. So then we have a fairly intimidating formula. Now it's supposed to produce exactly what the other, our tree diagram showed us. So 3 factorial really means what? 3 times 2 times 1. 3 minus 2 or 1 factorial. And then this is 2 times 1. Now 1 factorial is 1, so if we do a little reducing and canceling here, we end up with 3. Now what's this going to be? It's going to be a half times a half or a fourth, and this will be a half. And then a fourth times a half is an eighth. So we get our three eighths. But that's how you use this formula. Whenever you have a binomial situation, you can use this formula. Number of successes, total number of times, and then the probability of success, probability of failure. And so you can work out all kinds of problems, but they have to be a binomial distribution where there's either uh, true or false. And multiple choice can even be that because you can either say you get it right or you get it wrong. And so those are your two choices. As long as you can do that, you can use a formula like this to solve it. Now try the, some of the uh, video homework problems and your regular homework problems and see if you can just work this formula out. Most students find this pretty easy. So it'll be a, a good chance to uh, get one right without a lot of studying. So, tr but try one.
Thank you.